pumpkins are undoubtedly the crowned kings of the fall season. But did you know we might not have pumpkins today if it weren't for mammoths? Squash originated in Mexico thousands of years ago and are thought to be some of the first plant species domesticated by humans. But the ancestors of modern squash were not nearly as sweet and delicious as the pumpkins, butternut squash, and zucchini we grow today. Wild squash had a thick and bitter rind to deter small animals from chewing through it and consuming all of its precious seeds. In fact, it's thought that early humans grew squash specifically to eat its seeds and not its toxin-filled flesh. But there were two kinds of mammals in North America that were well adapted to eating squash, and those were mammoths and mastodons. Not only were they large enough to easily crack open hard wild squashes, they also lacked bitter taste receptors, which meant they would eat the entire squash, rind, flesh, seeds and all. Mammoths and mastodons thus became key seed dispersers for wild squash, spreading it all across the continent. Paleontologists have even found squash seeds in preserved mastodon poop. When mammoths and mastodons went extinct, the wild squash also took a hit. Thankfully, humans selected for more vigorous and better tasting varieties, leading to the pumpkins and other squashes we know today. So when you go to carve a jack-o-lantern this Halloween, be sure to thank mammoths for making it possible.